I'm Edwina Bridgman. I'm one of the artists that works at the hospital visiting the children's ward and the older people's units as well. Um, we're making this series of videos for you um, with some ideas of things to do for when we can't actually be with you. So today we're going to look at how we might make a journey. A long, long time ago, I made a piece of work that hung up for many years in the hospital. I made the piece of work because I wanted people to feel welcome when they came into the hospital and also hopeful. So everybody has got one of these pictures in um, their packs and I've also made a little boat and a little figure for everyone just to, just to get you on your way with your workshop. Shall we get ready on how to make our own boats? It's very, very simple. Basically, one piece of paper and we can make a boat. So you should have everything that you need in your packs. So I'm going to start by drawing a really rough boat shape. It could even be like a bath. So here we go. Very rough. Simple lines. Now I'm going to cut that out with the scissors. You'll find scissors in your pack. Try and cut it out it's a bit neatly, but don't worry too much. Carry on cutting. There. A rough boat shape. Now then, I'm keeping this piece of paper because I'm going to use this to make all the other things on the boat. Well, not all of them, but some of them. I'm going to cut a strip down here along the long edge of the paper and that's going to be the mast. I'm going to use the glue stick to stick it on roughly in the middle. Whoops. Can you see it's beginning to look more boat-like already? I think I'll cut two more thinner strips along that edge. Don't have to be particularly straight. Let's move the glue. Done one, here's another one, two. Now I'm going to, this can be the rigging. So I'm a bit of glue at the top, a bit of glue on one end. And stick it down. Same on the other side. Here we go. Much more boat like now, but it is missing something. Where are the passengers? And who are the passengers? You might want to think about who your passengers are, be, are going to be. Might be you going on a big adventure. Who are you going to take with you? I've um, you'll find some spoons in your packs, and also clothes peg. I'm going to transform these spoons and clothes pegs into some people. So in your pack you'll find some pencils. Now then I think I think I'd like my brother to be on board the boat with me so this is going to be my brother. I'm going to give him a yellow jumper. Very roughly. And I think he can have some dark trousers. If you've got felt pens with you, you can use your felt pens, whatever you've got, but you will find these pencils in your packs. There, he's got some. But he hasn't got a face. So 
everybody's going to have one of these good fine liners so you can draw a really really simple face on there um, two eyes and a nose and he's quite happy and I think some maybe some reddish hair Can you see he's come alive? Now, I might make this spoon be a bit like this character, a bit bigger. So you can just imagine who this might be. Again, you can use your fine liner to make a face. a happy person. I wonder what sort of adventure they're going to have. Quite exciting. Where would you go on your adventure? Who would you see? What would you see? I think I'm going to give her some rosy cheeks. Now then, you might want to give her an outfit. This character has a very simple piece of paper that you can cut into shape and stick on. Or you might want to cut a piece from your fabric and stick that on. This is very, very, this is special origami paper. You might want to make something out of that. I think I'm going to use this. So I'm just going to cut a really rough shape that's a bit thinner at the top than it is at the bottom. I'll stick that on. Now then, there are some animals aboard this boat. I think I might draw an animal to go on board our boat as well. So I'm going to go back to our piece of paper that we started with and I'll draw, hmm, I think I'll draw a fluffy dog. Just very roughly. He's very excited to be on board a boat. There he is. I'm going to cut him out now. I'm going to cut him out roughly, but you can cut him out your animals or birds out more neatly if you want to or maybe there aren't any animals at all maybe you're thinking of completely different things to go aboard your boat anyway here's the little dog right now I'm going to start putting everybody onto the boat so I think I'll start with this character Put some glue on the back of the spoon, stick her on. And who else is going aboard? Oh, this little chap. He can just clip on. Who else is going aboard? Um... I think this little person, she needs to go aboard. I'll stick her down here. Again, just a bit of glue on the back. Um, the dog. There they are. 
they are, all aboard the boat. You can add many more things. You might want to add some fish underneath. You might make a sunshine in the sky. This is just to give you a few ideas. You might want to write about where you're going and who you're going with. I hope you really enjoy making a journey of your own. Bye-bye for now.